So the next, the next part is the conjuring. The devil made me do it. The devil made me do it. <sighs> In 1981, I was not born yet. Uh. And then we're going. What does this do? Uh, you? This, so. James's imagination and that eloquence in the in the poetry that I see is like an adult version of your childish nightmares. We know there are other stories to tell, but we've never felt the pressure to push them out there until we feel like there is a great story to tell and that we have something that, again, will be a worthy entrance to the Conjuring universe. I'd like you all to sit quietly and close your eyes. I really wanted Conjuring 3 to get away from the haunted house setup of the first two Conjuring films. It should be more on a whole different level, something that we've never explored before in the Conjuring world. We wanted to keep our new story grounded in the feel of Conjuring movies, but we wanted to make sure we were telling a brand new story. And we think the Arne Johnson story was something that really deserved a much closer look. As I got to the bottom of the stairs... And I Are you telling me it's him? Oh my god. It's really him. It's really him, guys. I to open the door. I don't remember anything from that point. The next thing I know, I was in a jail cell. And I said, what's going on here? And they said, well, you're being charged for murder. I said, well, what are you talking about? The trial of Arnie Cheyenne Johnson. This was an internationally renowned case which was the first time in the history of law in the United States that... Yeah, that demonic possession was used as a reason for committing manslaughter. Do you think you'll be able to prove the existence of the devil in court? The truth doesn't require anyone to believe in it. You're in for a much different ride than you've been on in other Conjuring films. What's the point of a sequel if you can't outshine and outstory <laughs> and outheart the previous films? It just requires you to bring your A-plus game. When I was working with Michael Shavs on La Llorona, I saw a filmmaker that really gets these kind of films. It's bittersweet for me to pass the baton on. And action! But it's good to get a fresh take on where we can take the Conjuring universe. We're offering something very special with these films, and I think that's one of the reasons people keep coming back. The final reason, of course, is that people love to be scared. I don't know that anybody has crafted or created better scare sequences than James Wan, David Sandberg, Gary Doberman, Corn Hardy, John Leonetti, Michael Shavs. Guys, we're making conference, right? It's gonna be awesome. These are all people that really know what they're doing and they do an incredible job crafting new and original scare sequences. That's really what people come back to see. Okay, I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. <laughs>